chicken coop. Oh. What are you up to today, babe? Nothing. Look, look what you guys just did. Yeah, we enlarged the fence. I got a bigger chicken pen for the, there. There's nine chickens. Now, where are you going to put the... Um, chicken coop? No, the door that goes from coop to coop. Or did we decide not to do that? For right now... Well, I wasn't going to put a door unless you want to keep it separated. If so, I'll do it and put a door right there. Well, you know how good it would be if I had them over there during the day and then the chicks over here? Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, and then I could just put them in the coop at night until the new coop is being built. Yeah, we got to do that, I guess. There's Forrest hard at work. Hi, yeah. Uh... Say hi, Forrest. You're on candid camera. Where'd he go? <laughs> he is the best kid you will ever meet. Love that kid. I want to adopt him, but his parents won't let me. <laughs> so here we are in the exciting Ace Hardware. Buying hardware. There's Nick. The man hunts for the right hinges for the gates. Will he be successful in his hunt? Stay tuned and we shall find. Self-closing cabinet hinge. I know, but... Is that for the gate? No. That's for the mailbox. Mailbox. He's building a mailbox. I I'm, I'm, I'm just don't know. I'll look elsewhere. We're looking elsewhere. This is taking on the gate we're building right now. He's looking elsewhere. Okay, now what are you talking about? We're, we're having a conversation about when we were kids, how if you went into a public restroom, you would have to pay a dime to get into the toilet stall. Right. There was like a little coin thing on the end of it, and you put it in, and it would unlock the door. And as kids, if we didn't have a dime, we'd scoot underneath the stall and open it up. Sometimes my mom would send me to open up the stall. So, golly, I wonder when those, those, like, came out of existence. Well, they must have made it illegal, because I can't imagine that, that they'd have stopped making money like that when they could get away with it. Yeah, I know, because back then, a dime was a lot of money. I mean, you could buy a full, big size Hershey bar for a nickel. Yeah. yeah. So, a dime was two candy bars. That's right. So, and the candy bars were a third larger than they are now. <laughs> yeah, but I think we should look up on why that practice stopped. I wonder if somebody sued somebody because they had to go to the bathroom and wet their pants because they didn't have time or, or what happened. They might have got tired of somebody peeing on the doors. <laughs> well, that would be the man's. Girls don't pee on doors. <laughs> Girls have class. I don't know. Take it from a guy who worked in a gas station part-time for a long time. The women's restroom was always a way bigger mess than the men's were. That's because men just have to whip it out and, and pee against the, yeah, the urinal you, on the wall. You can't believe what those women are doing there. Oh, I, I believe me. I do know because oh. I've been in, in public restrooms and it's actually quite disgusting. <sighs> the walls would have poo on them. Oh, my. Bowls would have poo on them. Oh, you that's know. gross. I just I can't even tell you what I mopped up every night when I cleaned up. If I went in there and they were halfway clean, it was my lucky day of the year. Wow. Because just before I closed, I had to go in and clean both restrooms up. Okay, you know our conversation we were having about pay toilets earlier? Well, the Committee to End Pay Toilets in America, or SEPTIA, was a 1970s grassroots political organization which was one of the main forces behind the elimination, get it, of pay toilets in many American cities and state. When a man or woman's natural body functions are restricted because he or she doesn't have a piece of change, there is no true freedom. Right, no true freedom. That was quoted by Ira Gessel. 
Founded in 1970 by the then 19-year-old Ira Gessel, the committee's purpose was to eliminate pay toilets in the U.S. through legislation, legislation and public pressure. So there you go. No Me- more pay poo-poo. Membership in the organization cost only 25 cents. And members received the committee's newsletter, the free toilet paper. <laughs> Headquartered in Dayton, Ohio, USA, the group had as many as 1,500 members in seven chapters. And that, folks, is why you don't have to pay to use a public toilet in America. Right. (laughs) That's funny. Okay, so um, we're going to end the vlog. I am actually heading off to an overnight women's retreat called Women of Hope or something like that. It's only about 10 miles from our house, so... Um, I can come home if I want and sleep in my own bed, but then I don't get the full experience of the Bible study. Yeah, you know what time breakfast is in the morning? What time? 8 a.m. Do they know me? No. No. No, they'll have to have a crowbar to cry you out of bed in the morning. At 8 a.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm going to take a shower because I am a mess from... Um, doing housework and helping yard work and helping with the chicken coop and all that and I need to take off here in about an hour actually I need to leave here in about 30 minutes so I'm gonna hop in the shower Mick's gonna have the night by himself I'm okay leaving with him I'm okay leaving him headed for the bar I'm taking the truck <laughs> can't go to the bar Sorry. it's a long walk but you know yeah. I got to make it from here to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. So anyway, so he'll be fine for one night, hopefully. And um, I've got the dogs to watch him, so things are good there. The chicken should watch him. I don't know. You've had kind of a rough day today. I've had a fine day today. No, you've had a rough day. I just had a working day today. Yeah, but I noticed, I really noticed in the hardware store how this... Um, project is kind of befuddling you normally something like this would be done in half a day only because i can't find what i want but you found what you want not really what you really really i found what will work i didn't find what i want oh there's a difference just tell me what you want what you really really want i wanna i wanna (laughs) i want one of them about that big and about that white the hinge that is (laughs) I wasn't going there. He went there. I won't go there. So anyway, guys, that's it for tonight. Remember, God bless. We love you. Goodbye. Farewell.